we love finding odd pieces of history. And over at 15th and Harvard, there's a good one. A small, narrow hamburger stand. Okay, you want fried onions, mustard pickle, and the chili cheese? The building has been used as a diner since the 1930s. Over the decades, several owners have sold hamburgers here. But since 1975, it's been Ron's. Ron Baber owns it. We changed the roof one time and uh, painted it now and then, and, uh, and the rest of it is, is just, just about like it was. The old lunch counter has only 10 stools and a grill in front. So when you finally get a seat, you can watch them make your lunch, just like in the 1930s. But unlike the way they cooked back then, Ron has perfected his own burger technique. When we turn the burgers over after they cooked on one side and put the bun on them, we put a lid on it. We call it the magic lid, and it steams the burger in its own juices and a little bit of oil in the, that's in the meat. So when you get it, it's real hot and fluffy instead of just a, a toasted dry bun. Best burger I find in Charleston in a long time. I'm living in Dallas, and I haven't had a good burger since I've been living in Dallas. So I told Judge I wanted a good burger, so this is the place to come for that. You got to really put out good food to attract somebody. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't get here fast enough. <laughs> well, people seem to like the magic lid way of making burgers. But the specialty here is homemade chili, a tradition that began before Ron had the place. Mr. Ryan was here about 25 years before me, and he sent four kids through college on this place. They stayed open at 9 o'clock. We stayed open at 2.30 now, but uh, uh, he gave me the chili recipe, and I changed it a little. He put something addictive in there. We haven't figured out exactly what addictive <laughs> property it has. It's made with tender, loving care and beef and pork. I've tasted a lot of chili at these contests that you have, but I always come back to Ron's. I like to have the jumbo hamburger. The chili's killing her, man. It's really good. And a bowl of chili. Today we're experimenting with a sausage burger. And a half order of Spanish fries. As you can see, uh, it's, uh, it does the job. <laughs> well, we can see that this place is popular. And there are more than a dozen Ron's locations now. But many customers still prefer this original place here on 15th Street. It's small, it gets crowded, but it's a tasty piece of history. We're happy here. <laughs> uh, so one full fry, anything else? 